Nuke 5.2 introduces Python panels, which are a lot more powerful than the old panel code. They use the regular nuke knob objects, which means you can use any knob that you would normally use to create a gizmo, for example. They also use the new callbacks, which means you can create dynamic interfaces. And on top of that, you can choose to either use them as modal windows or as non-modal parts of your interface and save and restore them with your layouts. So let's have a look at the panel we'll be putting together in this tutorial. This is a slightly enhanced search and replace panel, which I wrote to replace the old panel code based one that lives in edit node file name search and replace. So this is using the old panel code here. If you want to have a look at that old code, it's in the nuke scripts directory in nukes install folder and is called search replace.py. But let's have a look at what the Python panels can do. First, I have a drop down list that determines if I want to search all nodes or just the selected ones. Then I've got my search string, so I'll enter like sc20 for example to search the nodes for that string. And the moment I shift focus away from the search string, I already get a result. So that's the callbacks here. If I then choose to only search selected nodes, the result adjusts accordingly. And if I change selections in the node graph and hit the update button, we get an updated result as well. So now I can go ahead and replace that string with a new one, like so. I'm getting errors because I don't have a scene 21, so I'll just change that back. And uh, we're pretty much ready to go. You'll note that this is a non-modal panel, so it's a tab like any other tab in Nuke that I can rearrange in the interface and save with my layouts. And uh, now let's have a look at how this is put together. The first thing you need to do to create a Python panel is to create a class that inherits the basic Python panel that lives in the Nuke scripts package. So let's add that bit of code. So here you see I've created a new class that is called search replace panel. It inherits the nuke scripts.python panel, which gives us all the methods that we need attached to it. And in its constructor, we simply execute the nuke scripts.python panels constructor to give it a title and an optional ID. The ID needs to be a unique string and is required for layouts to communicate with your new panel. So if you pop this up as a modal panel, you don't need the ID. Once you've got this header information, you are ready to create your knobs. Let's go ahead and create the search entry knob first. And I'm going to attach it to my class as the variable search str. And it should be a string knob with the name search str. Let's make that an uppercase s. And the label search for, like so. Once we've created a knob, we need to explicitly attach it to the new panel class. And we can do this by typing self.addNob. This is a method inherited from the basic Python panel in the Nuke scripts package. And all this needs is the knob we created above. So once we've created knobs and added them to the panel, we are ready to pop up the panel. Let's try a modal dialog first. I'll create an instance of a new class and use the method showModalDialog that was inherited as well. So if we run this code, we should get a basic pop-up window with a search string in there and we get an OK and cancel button for free. So let's go back and do more of the same. Just going to copy that line to create my replace string knob. So I'll swap search for replace. And the label should now read replace with. And once again, once we've created the new knob, we need to add it to the panel in the order we want them to show up. So running this now gives us both string knobs. I don't want to bore you with my typing, so I'll just skip ahead and create all the knobs we need. Here we are. And let's quickly examine this. The first knob is our enumeration knob, which gives us the choice to examine either all nodes or the selected nodes. So the third argument here is a list or a tuple that gives us the items in the drop-down list. Then we've got our search string. Then we've got a Python script knob, once again, just with a name and a label. After that, we've got the multi-line eval string knob, which is just a multi-line knob for text. And in this case, I don't want the users to actually enter text. I just want to print to it as an information panel, which is why I'm deactivating it here. So this makes it impossible for the user to actually enter stuff into it or manually change the results that we're printing to it. Then we've got a replace string and finally we've got another Python script knob to perform the replace action. And once we've created all those knobs, 
we're adding them one by one in the order they should show up in the interface. So let's run this bit and pop up the panel again. So here you see the entire panel with all the knobs. They don't do anything yet, but we're pretty much ready to tie this into the interface the way we want to. So let's go back to the code. And instead of popping it up as a modal panel, I now want to make it live in my pane menu right here. And to do that, I'm going to write a tiny little function to add the panel to the pane. So I'll call that add panel. And all this does is it returns the add pane command that's attached to the panel. So once again, we create an instance of the panel and we'll use the add to pane method on it this time rather than the show modal dialog. Once we've got this we can put it into the menu and the menu we're after is the pane menu so I go nuke.menu pane and then we can go menu.add command give it a label for the menu and give it the callable that will actually add the panel to the pane Let's run this code and see what happens. So now we should find this panel living in the pane menu. Here it is. And if we run this, it is now a non-modal panel that we can move around and use just like any other tab. Now, once you've done this, you need to register your panel with your layouts. Otherwise, you'll get a problem if you want to tie this into your layouts. Let's try this first. So I'm going to save this as layout two. And now I'm going to go back to my layout one and try layout 2 again and instead of getting the panel we get the error that our specific panel can't be restored because it's not registered so let's go back and register it and that's simply done by calling the nuke scripts function called register panel and this is where we use our unique ID from above so I'm just going to copy that from here into here and once the layout finds this panel will tell it what to do and that is just like before adding the panel to the pane like this callable is doing for us. So we're giving it that here and now if we run this whole thing and try again grabbing the panel here, saving the layout and now we should be good to go swapping between layouts and our panel is coming along for the ride.